Hey, Mom. Hi, honey. What are you looking at? Pictures of your father. I know he died and I during the war of Iraq. Yeah, I know. We go through this every year since then. I never really got to know Dad. I was only a baby. I know, honey. And your sister was five when he died. Yeah. And now I'm ten and my sister is fifteen. Mm -hmm. He was really handsome. Yeah, he was. And he loved both of you guys very much. Mom? Yes? How come you're taking this so well, but... But Naomi is taking it so hard? Well, I guess you're old enough to know. To know what? When your father announced that he was going to fight in the war. The last thing Naomi said before he, before your dad left was that she hated him, believe it. And he died before she could even apologize to him. Wow. No wonder why Naomi's such a rack. Yes, so we got to be really careful with what we say to her today. Of course. I'm going to go, um, Talk to her, is that okay? Yes, just be careful. I will. Okay. You're a good sister, Kit. <sighs> Naomi? Naomi? Naomi, are you okay? Kit? Yeah, it's just me. Are you alright? I came in to check on you. Why? How do you know I'm not myself today? We go back ten years. I know when you're not yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I was just having a bad dream. About that? Mom told, finally told me what happened between you and Dad before he went, he went to fight in the war. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. He went to fight in the war and you told him that you hated him? Yeah, thanks for reminding me. I'm sorry. What I'm trying to say is that I'm here if you want to talk. I don't want to talk about it, okay? We well, need to talk to somebody. We go through this every year. I don't care, okay? Just go and leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. Okay. I'll be in my room if you're ready to talk. I will never be ready to talk. We'll see. <laughs> Poor Naomi. I can't even concentrate on my laptop. Man. Hi, sweetie. Hey, Mom. How'd it go with Kit? I heard you guys yelling a little bit, but I wanted to see for myself what's going on. Naomi is really, really upset. She told me to leave her alone and that I would never understand how she felt. But part of her's right. You won't understand because you don't remember your dad. I know. But I wish we had a dad, and maybe you'll get married again. No, honey, I don't plan on dating or getting, or especially getting married. Why not? You're still young. You can still get married and have more kids. Honey, I'm happy the way life is. You mean you're glad that dad died? That's not what I meant, and you know that. I mean that I'm just lucky to have both of my girls with me. I don't need a husband right now. I guess not. I appreciate the thought, kid. I really do, but right now I gotta concentrate on my children, and that's you and Naomi. 
now. I'm going to go talk to Naomi. Okay? We're straightening this out. Straighten what out? Well, I know you and Naomi had a little argument. So I'm going to talk to Naomi and see what I can do to help. Okay. Right. Thank you for trying, honey. You're welcome. <sighs> Go away, kid. It's not kid. It's your mother. Can I come in? It's your house. Sweetie, are you okay? Do I look like I'm okay? Sweetie, I miss him too. You don't get it, Mom. Not only did I barely know Dad because I was only five when he died, I told him I hated him. That was the last words he heard from me. I can't live with that. Honey, you were only five and you were just upset because he was going away. I probably would have said it. I wasn't happy with him going to war, but I knew he was fighting for our country, so I accepted it. But you were just a kid, honey. A little kid at that. Your father knows you didn't mean it. But how can he? He's dead. He's watching over us. I know. I just miss him, Mom. I know you do. I mean, I just wish that I could take back what I said, but I can't. I know, honey. No, you don't know. You don't know how long this has been torturing me. This has been torturing me for ten years. Honey, I know. Stop saying you know. You don't know. Naomi, listen to me. Okay? I want you to listen. Your dad loved you very much. I know! What are you trying to do? Make me feel more guilty? No. What I'm trying to say is that your dad knows you didn't mean what you said. I just wish I knew for sure. Maybe if I died too and saw him, he would... Don't talk that way. You don't deserve to die. If that's what you're implying. Kind of was. You don't deserve to die, and we would miss you very much if you died. We can't stand another loss in the family. Especially if somebody was as young as you. So I don't want to hear that kind of talk again, okay? Do you understand? Yes. But I still miss Dad, and I still feel guilty about what I said. I know you do, honey, but like I said, your dad knows you didn't mean it. You were just upset because he was going away. And that's understandable for a kid who was your age at the time. Who was five at the time. But it is not your fault your dad died and you can't blame yourself. We've been going through this for ten years, honey. I don't know what else to do to help you. You won't go to therapy. You won't go to the loss and grief group at your school. I don't know what to do to help you. Just let me die. That'll help. Stop it. Stop talking that way. Honey, I love you. But I don't want you to keep torturing yourself. And when your sister was trying to help you, you got upset with her. Because she especially doesn't understand. She was only a baby when Dad died. That doesn't matter. She still cares about you and wants to try to help you just as much as I do, honey. How could she understand? She's only 10. Well, you're 15. You're not much older than she is. Five years is a big difference, Mom, especially now. All right. Why don't I get Kit and you girls can talk? I think you need it. If it will shut you up, then fine. I'll talk to Kit. That's my girl. <sighs> ben. Hey. Oh, 
Hey Naomi, what's up? Can I talk to you? Yeah, have a seat. Thanks. So what's going on? What do you want to talk about? I wanted to apologize for the way I was acting. Oh, Naomi, you don't have to. No, I do have to apologize. I was so insensitive to you and you were trying to show me up and I told you to go away and leave me alone. I just, I'm sorry. It's just so hard because of what I said to Dad right before he died. I know. You don't have to tell me. I know. I mean, I may not remember Dad because I was only a baby when he died, but I know what it's like not to have a father. Yeah, I know. I've just been so upset about what I said to him, and days like this, like on Memorial Day especially, it's hard because he was fighting for our country during Memorial Day when I was five, and I just, I don't know, I just, it's okay, it really is. I'm sure Dad forgives you. I hope so. You know, even though I don't remember Dad, what's hard for me is Father's Day because when the Friday before Father's Day, every year in my class, we have to make Father's Day cards. And that's really hard. My teacher sends me to the library when they do that so I won't feel bad. But I feel bad anyway because I can't be like the other kids. I know what you mean. I went through the same thing when I was, when I was younger. But you know what? I made a Father's Day card anyway. Why? I guess because when I was a kid, I figured that if I made a Father's Day card, maybe Dad would come back. Wow. You really thought that? Yeah, pretty stupid, I know. No, it's not stupid. Sometimes I think the same way. You do? Yeah, I really do. But I told Mom about it, and she talked some sense into me. Yeah, Mom talked some sense into me, too, about it when I was, by the time I was, like, 10. Remember? Yeah, I remember that. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just wanted to apologize for being so irrational. You weren't being irrational. You missed Dad. I understand that. You do? Of course I do. Thanks for understanding, Kit. I really appreciate it. Anytime. I may be five years younger than you, but I'm always available to talk. I know. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm going to go in my room, okay? To mope? No, to go on my laptop and everything. Just to, you know, cheer myself up. Okay, well, I'm right here if you need me. Thanks, Kit. Now I can go back on my laptop. <laughs> Man. Hi, sweetie. Hey, Mom. Are you okay now? I'm fine, thanks to... Thanks to Kit. And you. Are you sure you're okay? I'm a little sad about Dad still, but I'm not as sad as I was. I mean, I'll always miss him and everything. But you and Kit really helped me realize that Dad loved me and he forgives me for what I said. And I think I'm finally going to start to heal from the loss. We all have to do that, honey. Even Kit. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, um, there's a block party going on in the next block. Would you like to, um, would you and Kit like to go? Sure. I'd like that. It'll keep my mind off stuff. Great. I'll let Kit know and then we'll leave in a couple of minutes. Okay. All right. Well, I may not have my dad. But the black party sounds like fun. <laughs>